Can you unlock your car so we can help you? Please? Tonight at 5, serious questions about a man who was shot and killed by law enforcement. And now his parents are calling for accountability. Denver 7 Investigates broke this story this morning about body camera video from a shooting in Silver Plume. It happened last June when a 22-year-old Colorado artist was killed after he called police for help. Well, Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski has been digging into the facts for us tonight. And Tony, your team has reviewed more than five hours of body camera video? Yeah, Jessica and Ann, it was an interaction that lasted more than 60 minutes and has now prompted a review by the District Attorney's Office in Clear Creek County. A warning for you now, we are not showing you the video of the shooting. It is too graphic, but the moments leading up to it may be disturbing to some. You're looking at portions of the body camera video. The family now questions. Someone tase him. Yeah. <laughs> drop the knife. Please drop the knife. Randy, you got that door held shut? The shooting deputy works for Clear Creek County. We stopped that video just before shots rang out because it's difficult to watch. Get that knife, you dropped it! Open the door, get the knife out! Unlock the door, unlock the door! It all started minutes earlier, police responding to a simple call for motor assistance on Main Street in Silver Plume. I'm not dangerous. I, can, I will keep my hands completely visible. Both cars be advised this party is stating that he has weapons in the vehicle with him, two knives, a hammer, and a rubber mallet. He did state that he would throw them out of the window as soon as officers got on scene to make you feel safe. The body camera video shows the situation escalated quickly. Christian Glass's call for help ended in fatal gunfire. Christian's killing is a stain on Clear Creek County and on Colorado. It was a murder by a Colorado official. It cannot stand. It is not right. His family went public for the first time at this news conference, calling for answers from the Clear Creek County Sheriff's Department. Even Colorado State Patrol said Christian committed no crime. It's not just us saying that. Christian committed no crime. He called for help and they killed him. We got a copy of this press release from Clear Creek County. It's from the day of the incident. At that time, police justified killing Glass by saying he tried to stab an officer. A total of five different agencies responded to the call for motor assistance. Video shows at one point, seven guns pointed at Christian. You don't just shoot someone five times if they haven't done anything wrong. Christian, please. They escalate at every opportunity and it looks like they're spoiling for a fight. Family attorneys weighed in on what they watched on the body camera. I have never seen this level of poor policing. The decision making here. This is one of the most disturbing videos we have ever seen. And it should disturb the entire nation. Now the Colorado Bureau of Investigation is now investigating this shooting. We confirmed today the deputy responsible for Christian Glass's death is back working for the Clear Creek Sheriff's Office. District Attorney Heidi McCallum released this statement today. It confirmed it is in the middle of a required investigation into a police shooting and added, while we understand that public sent sentiment may desire this process move at a more rapid pace. It is not in the best interest of justice and fairness to the family of the victim for this matter to be rushed to conclusion. Bottom line here, those are code words. Expect this investigation to take a while. That's incredible. All right. Truly difficult to watch. We'll keep watching. We know Thank you, you Tony. Thank you.